arf here. We're up in Tanner Creek near Aurora, Indiana, doing a string of 40 something Flyboy 66 caches. And we've been up here most of the day since early this morning. Now, I gotta say, I didn't work too hard to get up here because I got one of these on the back of the boat. So it'll do about four and a half miles an hour, which helps a lot between caches. So finally we're at the last cache on the creek and it's Tanner's number 45. I hope you can see that on there. And this guy's coordinates are uncannily good. I mean, it's showing this cache is straight ahead of the boat by about 10 feet. So, I'm gonna paddle on in here, see if we can see it. I gotta trim this motor up, you know, like that, and then look for the cache. Now, if Flyboy's coordinates are as good as they usually are, this cache ought to be like right in front of the boat. And look at there. Every cache I found today has been just about like this. And all the coordinates have been crazy good. Up a creek, between the banks, lots of foliage, lots of overhang. And now even though I've drifted away from this cache now, the coordinates are showing 10 feet. And that's just about what we are. So this is the last cache of the day. Just wanted to show how great this guy's coordinates are. So good, in fact, that the last time I did some of his caches on Hogan Creek. I waited till a full moon in October and did them at night with a flashlight, with a headlamp in fact, and scored every one. And I scored every one today. So if you get a chance, come up here and do some of Flyboy's caches. They're all, mostly all tubes. Every one I found today has been a tube. And they are usually strapped, you know, kind of in that fashion. Some others are different. I won't tell you what they are, but they're all good. So, anyway, hey, thank you, Flyboy. See you later.